Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3. Um, I've been waiting here for like an hour, like two hours. I sat here and watched baseball for like two hours, waiting to record because it's pouring rain outside. And according to the weather, it was supposed to stop like 40 minutes ago, but the weathermen are stupid, so it didn't. Um, so I just decided let's just let's just do this recording. F it, I am waiting for the weather to stop. So if you hear thunder. Yeah, that's what it is. It's raining outside. Alright, so let's get into this. Been a little bit since I played Witcher. Mm, and we're back on. Mom's awake and she's not in a good mood. You little shit. I hate fighting these things. Like, stay up and fight me. Like, didn't you have to be so stupidly aggressive with these things because they don't stay up? <laughs> One second, I gotta turn down my headset audio. I was doing that Call of Duty crap. Um, that series, okay, we got to. Uh, so I had to turn my volume up for that. Damn it. I hate fighting these stupid centipedes. Like, why do they have to not stay up? Like, fight! Stop going on your ground. Like, this is so annoying. Like, stop. Thank you. I think I'm gonna have to kill- yeah, I can't loot until I kill this stupid one. Heck there. What is it doing? Oh, I haven't hit away from killing it. I have to wait for it to pop back up. So now I need to find. Oh, I need to keep continuing it through this game. Okay. Is there like a big centipede in there? No, just looks like it's the regular centipede that I was fighting. Um. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, he's hitting its back. I thought that's the issue. What the hell? It's like my character, like, it's not locking on. Come here. It's not- okay, like, like, normally? I don't know what's wrong with this right now. Like, normally if I'm standing here, and he's where he pops up, like, right there. Is it a good job of, like, auto-locking me on, I guess? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, see? It's not doing the auto-lock. Now I'm on its side. I guess I'll just lock on from now on to it when it comes up. I don't know what the issue was. It's only this one. Like, this this worked on the last two. I didn't have to... I didn't have to lock onto the last ones to do this. Whatever. Okay, not what I expected. Would you just pop back up? Like, stop being a pansy! Come here! Like, right there! I'm standing. <laughs> I'm standing literally right next to I could. I if I played that right, I could. Alright, this thing is so stupidly annoying to fight. Like, just get. Oh my god! Just get up above the ground! Stop being a freaking little douchebag! Come here! Oh my god! This is so stupid! Oh my god, this is retarded! Stay above the ground! 
you stupid piece of shit. Really, dude? Where the hell? Come here. Look at this shit. And I missed that attack. This is so annoying. It takes so stupidly long to reload your crossbow. Like, look at that! It's so horrible. Would you just, just die? You can't, you can't reload this thing. It takes, it takes a colossal eternity. Like, look at that. Okay, I'm so sick of fighting this stupid piece of shit. Come here. This is so dumb. I can't shoot that far. Alright. I'll just do it this way then. God damn it! I just want it reloaded! Finally, the stupid. These enemies are so stupid. I've had enough of fighting these idiots. Alright, place the mutated giant set of albumin in Professor Morio's contraption to start the machinery. Thank God I'm done fighting those idiots for now. Why does everything in this DLC burrow below the ground? Why can't any of it just fight like a normal enemy? Why does it all have to run away like a pansy? I want to find just one. You know, just one. Why do I have to get undressed? No point going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Well, this doesn't sound like a horrible idea with no one here with us. Uh, okay, on A is unequipped. There's the thunder. Okay, let's hop in. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Mutations. You've unlocked the mutation system. It's mutations let you gain new capabilities, increase your advantage over normal men, and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. To learn more, open the character panel. Panel. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up the character panel. Alright, mutations. Uh, why to open the mutations panel? Uh, puppet. Current level, alternate sign mode, targeted enemy briefly becomes an ally and deals 60% more damage. All right, here we go. Uh, mutation research. To use mutations, first you must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. Uh, improve by researching mutations. Each stage unlocks an additional ability. Number of research mutations necessary to unlock, two. Okay, uh, mutation research. For mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens to it. Good thing I have a ton of ability points saved up. Uh, advanced mutations. Choose one of the advanced mutations. Um, I guess I'll just come down here. Uh, required mutations. To develop advanced mutations, you must first develop other, more basic ones. Information about this can be found in the mutations description. Okay, so... 
We've got Toxic Blood. Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level, currently 1.5% to a maximum of 195%. Okay, um... Deadly Counter. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents. Uh, immune to counterattacks and monsters. Wait. Sword attack. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. Kind of like Red Tear Stone Ring. Uh, signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increase with sign intensity. Currently 37% chance to deal an additional 167% damage. Opponents killed by critical hits from signs explode. I almost think I don't actually know. 25% more damage to human opponents, immune to counterattacks, and monsters. Okay, so I... I don't get the immune to monster. I get the immune to counterattacks. I don't get the immune to monsters. In all other cases... Are immune to... Mo I don't really get what that is. That's... Toxic blood is real. Let's get toxic blood. Okay, so I'm gonna activate that mutation. We got an achievement. Weapon W. Develop a mutation. Uh, each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and sign intensity by 0.7%. Maximum at 97.5%. Any more greater green mutagens? Um, actually, can develop all of these because okay we'll go ahead and activate it get that off our screen only one mutation can be activated at any given time okay uh strength synopsis the strength synopsis mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations as it does it unlocks additional ability slots uh close the panel uh, activate mutation to see what mutation is currently available. Open the mutation panel or the character panel. Uh, strength synopsis is the strength synopsis is synopsis mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations as it does and unlocks additional ability slots. Uh, extra slot. Thanks to the strength of the synops synap. I don't even know. I know what to, how to say it. Like I don't, know, I don't know why I can't say it. Mutation: You have an extra ability slot at your disposal. Uh, the color of the ability you activate in the extra slot must match the color of the active mutation. Advanced mutations distinguished by their yellow color require multiple types of mutagens, but allow you to use any abilities from the combat signs or alchemy groups. Okay, do I finally get to? Okay, so this allows me, okay, this allows me more abilities. I need to actually, like, use abilities to begin with, because, okay, so let me, let me take that off, and let me put it down here, and let me take this one, okay, so right now, I'm just gonna mess with this, so I guess if you want to skip ahead in the video, if you always see me messing around with this, you can. Um, okay, so the green one is active, which means, let me try this, heightened, I have heightened tolerance. Um, wait, where is, where is that? There we go, heightened tolerance. So if I put this up here. I'm not entirely sure what that disc did. Alright, I'm gonna put it back here. Alright, what of these do I have? Brewing. This one, like, Curror abilities is always active, enables... Okay, so that's always active. Okay, so these are core abilities. I don't have to do anything with them. They're already active. Um... Acquired Talonsense. Every known level 1, 2, or 3 alchemy formula increases... Maximum of toxicity by one. I think that's probably a good idea to put on. Now, does it tell me what it increases it by? No. But it does increase my toxicity, so that's good. Um, 
Let's go over here. What over here could I unlock? Precise blows increase the chance of landing a fast attack critical by 2%. Um... Hmm. Time slowed. Okay, I don't need that. Adrenaline point loss. I think let's... I gotta put two more into here anyway. To unlock. I think it makes sense to put something here. These are greater, right? That's a greater green. That's greater blue. No, that's not a greater red. I need to get a greater red. Uh, but let's go ahead to put into this and then I can put into this. Oops, what did I just... Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Put this back there. there go. Put that over there. What do I have right now? Delusion target does not move towards Geralt while he is casting Axie. Increase the effect. Okay. Uh, puppet. Probably should start using the Axie sign because I have this puppet crap. Okay, let me... We need to put a mutagen. Okay, where... Hold on. Let me back out of this. Alchemy. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can get greater blue and greater reds. I don't have enough. I can get a regular red. You want the graders anyway, so I might as well just upgrade what I got. Actually, don't have as much as I thought I did. Greater blue. And while we're here... Advanced Serum. Always like to keep up with this, just make sure. Superior Hangman's Venom. No potions. I should try to get some of these potions complete. There's just like minimal stuff that I'm missing. That I think I could buy from any... Like any alchemist. Oops, wrong. Character... Alright, Mutagen. Greater Red. This is actually kind of hard because I am colorblind, like that doesn't look red to me. Um, yeah, that's 10%. That's going to be a 40% boost to my attack. Um, now it comes down to what do I want. Do I want a boost to sign intensity, attack power, or extra health? So this will just be a simple 10% extra boost. Um, I actually think we would want to, okay, take that off. I think what you, what I would want to do, okay, is put this here. Actually, it won't even let me. It's got to be the same, okay. So everything in that middle has to be, okay, it would need to be this related. Protective coating, the oil target, all bombs, even those that, okay, they deal damage now. What is this? Tissue transmutation. When consumed, mutagen decoctions increase maximum vitality by 200 for detoxi decoctions effective duration. This also boosts, okay, that might be what I go with. Increase maximum vitality by 10% when toxicity exceeds. Okay, I don't rare. I rarely exceed. Army slows. Okay, I don't need that. Poison blades. Okay, that's with oil. Okay, let's get this tissue tree. Right, right. Hold on, let me put one into it. Yes, I can equip it to the center. There we go. Let's go ahead and make this the max. Okay, so there we go. When consume mutagen decoctions increase maximum vitality by 1,000 for decoctions effective duration. Okay, so now let's open up this panel. Strengthen synopsis or synapse. 
Uh, is improved by researching mutations. Each stage unlocks an additional ability slot. Ability slots unlock one number of research mutations necessary for next stage four. Okay, so what we do is we gotta go over here now. I don't have the... But I might as well... Congratulations, the strengthened synapsis mutation has advanced to the next level. Why do I have to close the character panel? Why did it want me to close that? Um, activate that sign. Okay, so now we're working... Oh, I can actually get piercing cold over here. What is this? When drawn magic unique... When drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own dealt damage. Oh, that's actually pretty good, but I need blue mutagens. When the R sign is casted, it additionally has a 25% chance of freezing opponents. Opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Opponents who are not frozen are dealt an additional uh, 2,652 damage. Signs can deal critical hits. Um, let's just go back to what we had, the toxic blood, because I get hit a lot. Okay, so now I can put two here. Okay, so it comes down to what do I want this other one to be, because it has to be in this, this uh, branch. Frenzy, time automatically slows down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like any of these. I don't use oils as much as I should, and I don't use decoctions as much as I should, which is kind of the issue. I need to put two more potion effects. Do not wear, don't wear off until potion toxicity falls to 90% of the maximum threshold, maximum level. So if I keep it above the maximum level, they never wear off. Blade oil. Okay, no, no, I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Increases bonus for mutagen placed in mutagen slot by 10%. Ooh. Hmm. I have some points here. I guess I could jack around with this real quick. So if I go there, if I place this here, and I put it in the slot. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Wow, that's really good. I don't even have it maxed out yet, but that is really nice. And then... I don't know if I want that sign intensity in the butt. What other mutagen? I don't have any more green mutagen. Or do I, yeah, I do have green. Green is just extra health. I feel like red is better. Better attack power. Give me 14% extra attack. I think that's the way to go. So I actually, I'm, I'm starting to like the build of this character a lot. Um, because even, we'll finish this off, obviously, with Synergy. Then we'll come over here to Delayed Recovery, which will get us to the bottom to side effects. Im, Im, er, imbibing a potion gives a, I think imbibing is drinking. Or in, in I don't know what the dictionary definition of intaking um, gives a 20% chance of activating the effects of another randomly selected potion without an additional toxicity cost. Ooh, that's really nice. And this one is, extends effective duration of all mutagen decoctions by, ta okay, I don't really care about that. Uh, is about, hmm. All right, but that actually works out because I'll put those two on and that'll finish off what I'm allowed to have equipped and uh i think that'll make a pretty nice complete character i need to start using decoctions more let's go ahead and put our armor back on i know that was kind of a long little sit here and let me talk through this on my own but i think it did some good i've, I've kind of figured out now we could do some armor dye um purple turquoise Oh, okay, so you have to use this on Witcher gear. 
dye remover. Okay, so that just removes it, to, restores it to the original color. That's nice. Okay, let me just put all of this on. Okay, so that's a better weapon. Okay, so that's the weapon I had equipped. Is it the Witch Hunter sword that I had equipped? Yeah, it was. Okay. I need to get better... I need to get some better swords, because the crap that I'm using now is some trash. Alright. Let's get out of here. Uh, where are we going? To get... Alright, this way. Hmm. A power cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Do we have to use? Is it Igni that it wants you to use? No. Is it... Is it Ard? Yes, it's Ard. Okay. Uh, back to Quinn. Okay, now that I have all this decoction stuff, let me... Oh, we're back under water. Okay, so that's the quest. There's Turn and Face the Strange completed. Let me get to land here real quick. I did never I never did find that key. So that's kinda interesting. I didn't ever find that. Um what was I gonna do? I totally like oh, decoction or yeah, decoctions. Let me see here. What a decoction what's the decoctions that I wanna use? Okay, so we've got Ekamara, Damage Delta Foes Regenerates Health. Running, sprinting, and jumping outside of combat does not use stamina. Increases critical hit damage when attacking from behind. Griffin Decoction, taking damage raises damage resistance up to an upper limit. So I think right now the winning is Ekamara. Uh, Night Wraith Decoction. Okay, I don't... That, that's not that good. Damage does increase when vitality is at its maximum. Uh, my health is not at its max usually because I'm getting hit. Applies a buff, increasing the intensity of a randomly selected sign at dusk and dawn. Eh. Significantly limits the duration of... Okay, no. Critical hit chance. That's nice and simple. Sign intensity. Really during cloudy weather. What is that? The fall... Okay, that makes sense. Uh, pop small. That's... It. Whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality, a Gwen shield is activated, which protects against the next attack. That the rape decoction would be would have been beastly for uh, my uh, the the death march playthrough where I was so under leveled and I was getting hit for like half the damage, half of my health. Complete resistance to the stagger effect and reduces the knockdown effect. To okay, no. Oh, that's not bad. Leshen. I guess I could read this. Uh, a portion of the damage dealt by enemies is reflected back. Each foe slain accelerates vitality regeneration for the duration of the battle. Witcher's resistance to vitality deplete. Okay, no. The amount of weight the Witcher can carry without being overburdened. That's always nice near... <laughs> I need to remember that. Increases damage dealt and decreases damage taken against Wraiths. And Troll Decoction regenerates vitality during and outside of comp. Okay, I think I want the, the which one was it? Leshen. Let's let's do. I just want to drink it. Can I just drink my Leshen Decoction? There we go. There we go. Now everything is boosted as well. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. Now, if I wait all the way here. Does that, like, kill my Lush and Decoction? Like, is it that real? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I can rest like that. And you get Tani all Owl back there. Okay, let me... I do have some stuff that's... This is kind of a long episode of not a whole lot. Uh, but it was kind of important for me to get stuff organized here and get back to what I... Get to what I wanted here. Um... Let's go ahead and just equip the... Should I just equip... Uh, let me just do equip the Lush and Decoction, because I'm going to use it. 
Alright, so we'll equip the Lesion Decoction. I wish it showed how much time I had left on the Lesion Decoction, but it doesn't. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't too exciting of an episode, but it was kind of an important episode. Uh, I did a little bit of reorganizing and uh, got some stuff set and stuff like that. I need to keep my eyes out for mutagens. I need to work to create some more mutagens uh, and all that stuff, but we'll take care of that in future episodes. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Or I guess let me say this real quick. This will be the character that I use whenever I do my Witcher, Re Witcher Revisited playthrough uh, on New Game Plus. This will be the character, so... That's why I'm trying to take so much detail into setting it up the way I want and all of that different stuff. Uh, so just wanted to give you guys that uh, little insight on the why the end of this episode was kind of important. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.